All right. So uh, I'm going to just go over Fury DPS uh, for phase five. I'm going to talk about uh, talents, runes, and best in slot items. Um, so first off, let's start off with the Fury dual wield. So this is pretty much the uh, same talent tree setup and rune setup as phase four. Nothing has changed. Uh, the only thing you could possibly change would be booming voice into unbridled wrath. But I think that unbridled wrath is useless just because with endless rage and world buffs, you're generating so much rage as it is. This doesn't really make any difference. Uh, the utility bonus that you get from running booming voice, making your shouts five minutes and they're free. Uh, it's just amazing. So I would run booming voice over unbridled wrath. And then for rune setup, again, nothing has changed. It's still the same. Endless endless rage, fresh meat, raging blows, rampage, uh, single mind fury, blood surge, consumed by rage, and rallying cry. Now, you could run uh, endless, or sorry, um, enrage regeneration, but uh, rallying cry as a raid utility is amazing. This could potentially save a fellow raid member from dying or even your tank. And then uh, there was some crazy talk about gladiator stance, stance dancing for extra rage generation. That's just nonsense. So uh, it's rallying cry on your feet or uh, in rage generation. But I would run rallying cry 100%. Then for your ring specialization, just run uh, whatever weapons you're using on your character. Uh, if you need sword specialization or mace specialization uh, to get the plus five, then run those or run whatever weapon specialization you need. Now for two-handed fury, it's. Uh, a little different, you uh, go three points into uh, uh, two and specialization, and you just take those two points out of uh, dual wield, and then th three points go here, and two points go into either Unbridled Wrath or Cleave. Now, uh, Cleave's percent uh, increase, Cleave's ability, it, it increases the damage by 40%. Uh, this isn't the actual damage of the Cleave, this is the added damage that the ability gives to your attack. So, uh, 80% if you have two if you have two points in here it would be 80% the 80% would only increase this to 90 damage So you're only really gaining 40 extra damage to your attacks This is basically not noticeable in your DPS same with Unbridled Wrath You won't notice this change so you can either put them in cleave or you can put them in intercept or you can put them in Berserker Rage uh, You can use Berserker Rage on Neff for the fear you can precast it and maybe gain a little extra rage But in reality, it doesn't really matter where, where these two points go you can put them in whatever you want now for uh figuring out best of slot items i like to use the guybrush warrior sim this sim is amazing i've been using this since uh, classic wow when i found out about it and uh he keeps it up to date so it's really it's a really good tool for figuring out what items you uh would increase your gear damage so i'm just going to go to uh the profiles here on the left i'm going to select the uh p5 dual fury as uh and also, he has uh, very good presets here. So this is basically best in slot uh, two-handed fury. This is best in slot two-build fury. And then these are the pre-bis items going into BWL. So basically like the MC best in slot gear for both uh, two-handed fury and for dual-wield fury. So for uh, now, I'm just going to load up the profile for dual-wield fury. And then we're going to go into um, weapons. As you can see here, it has a long list of all the different weapons that you can equip. So if you want to equip these, you just click on this icon here. This is to change the uh, items that you want to equip, and it gives you a big uh, long list. Now, I'm going to remove greens and blues just because I don't really care about greens and blues. We're Let's just say that we're uh, coming out of MC, so we're most likely in full epic. Uh, so before we do anything, I'm, I'm going to go to settings. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go to uh, simulations. I'm going to change this to 500. It's originally 10,000. And then as you can see, the generation is within 50 to 60 seconds. Now this is a good um, number or this is a good range of, of uh, time for the fights because in BWL, the fights are very short and they're only going to get shorter as uh, your raid gets more and more geared. So uh, we're just going to keep that as it is. And uh, this is basically... It's, it's already presetted with full world buffs, full, full consumes, um, full raid buffs, extra buffs, and then uh, max uh, armor reduction, and so on and so forth. It has the rune set up for 2 minute Fury. I'm just going to change the Gladiator stance over to Rallying Cry, just, just for the sake of the video. And then, as you can see here, it's the same uh, talent setup that I have uh, was explaining earlier with Dual Wheel Fury. So that now that that stuff's set up, we have turned this to 500. 
Uh, we're going to go back into the panel here just by unselecting the settings and we're going to click on weapons and then we're going to go to the very, very bottom right and we're going to go gear DPS. All right, so now that it is done, you can see that it has given a DPS value, uh, negative or positive, to every single item. Now, what the simulation does is it equips this, it, it equips one item, runs 500 boss fights, and then it tells you how much damage has changed from the the weapon that you've selected. So, if I were to equip Deathbringer, I would lose 21 DPS. If I were to equip uh, the Hammer of the Black Anvil, I would lose 37 DPS, comparable to Amp Demo. Now, once I have done this, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to Show and Hide. I'm going to go up to the top right here now, and I'm going to make it so that it, it sorts the items from the highest DPS to the lowest DPS, and then I'm going to start clicking off items that I don't want to see. So the reason why I don't want to see these items is because I don't really care about items like Flurry Axe or, or the Core Tooth or whatever, right? I, was, I, I just care about the top weapons coming out of BWL or this phase. So as we're clicking through, I'm just looking to see if there's any items here that I would note it that I would uh, use. So we're going to keep Thunder Fury. We'll keep Molten Destroyer, Iron Foe, and all this other stuff. Now we're going to go back down here. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to unclick Show Hide Rows, and now we're going to go back into Settings, and we're going to change this to 10,000. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because it's going to narrow down the DPS difference. So the DPS difference, the error of DPS, is within 32 DPS, which is quite a bit. I don't want 32 DPS. I want to be more accurate. So we're going to change it to 10,000 from 500 simulations, and then we're going to go to Gear DPS. All right, so it is done. As you can see, we have uh, more precise numbers. We are in an error of 7 DPS, which is pretty manageable. So Emp Demo is going to be best in slot. Uh, Crush Rock is going to be just under it by 15 DPS. And then it's uh, Flash Ren, Deathbringer, uh, the Black Drake, and Chronic Sword, and so on and so forth. So this is how I figure out what items are going to be, going to be best in slot. Uh, this is a better tool because you can actually plug in what items you have and then you can figure out what items are going to be better as you're picking up items from BWL because most likely most likely you'll have trouble picking up certain items like Drake Bang Talisman is going to be highly contested so you kind of want to know what items are optional that are just as good or potentially good for your character until you get your hands on those best slot items. So we're going to do the same thing for the offhand. Just for the video. All right, it is done. Uh, just want to point out again, I went back into settings. I turned it from 10,000 to 500 just so that it would be faster because the, the more iterations you run, the longer it takes the simulation to figure out the DPS difference from each item that is being equipped. So now we're going to go back to show and hide. We're going to sort from DPS and then we're going to click off all these items that are super, super low. We're going to keep Thunder Fury just because it's Thunder Fury. And then we're going to go right up into, uh, let's say, Viscag. Let's actually let's actually keep all these on. Now we're going to go back into settings. Change this to 10,000 again.
All right, so it is done. As you can see, Chromatic Temper Sword is best in slot. Then it's Flash, uh, Flash Friend, which is very, very close. These are basically Flash Friend and Chromatic Temper Sword are basically the same item. Chromatic Temper Sword is just a little bit better just because it's a base stat increase and it scales very, very well with uh, Zendlar. But Flash Friend is also very, very good. So these two weapons are pretty much the same. Uh, you can probably hit really high ranks regardless of which weapon you have. And then after that, it is uh, Doom's Edge, which is also pretty good. Crush Rock and then so on and so forth. So now I'm going to talk about uh, the your equipment. So your warriors right now are basically trapped uh, with their their T1 six piece set. You can't really um, replace it. So you're going to be running Core Forge or you're going to be running the MC uh, T1. You're going to you, you're going to be using your shoulders, your chest, your uh, bracers, gloves, pants, and boots to achieve the six piece and then your your only slots that you are able to kind of play around with is going to be your neck your back your two rings and then your trinket and your belt now the speed helm is actually very 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 strong so i'm just going to uh change this to 500 again and then i'm going to sim the helmet so i'm going to show you how strong it actually is All right, so then I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna turn this to 10,000. I'm gonna go show and hide. I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna click through all these other helmets that are very, very low on Sim. Keep Lineheart, keep Low, keep all that stuff. So as you can see, uh, the Speed Helm is around 115 DPS better than any helm you could possibly run. Now, the reason why that is, is because the fights in BWL are very short. That 20% attack speed for 10 seconds when you front load it with all your damage cooldowns is a lot of DPS. So, uh, M M Demo's attack speed in combination with the helmet is going to make your character just do giga damage. So you can't really run any other slot in your helmet. The only time that you would take your helmet off is if it's off cooldown or if it's on uh, cooldown and then you could potentially wear a Helm of Wrath or you can wear your Lionheart Helm. Really, It really doesn't matter. So, and then for your uh, your neck piece, it's going to be the Eye of a Car just because it has the most uh, stats on it. It's going to sim it. Oh, I made a mistake here, actually. I want to show uh, the Anixia neck. I accidentally turned it off. Uh, and that's pretty much it. My bad. Just going to reset this. All right, so as you can see, the um, I have a car is amazing. It's uh, roughly seven to 12 DPS better than the um, Escander's Collar and then the uh, Darkman Fair as well. And then Anixia, it's about 20 to 24 DPS better. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate something that's important to know when you're gearing your warrior. So your uh, hit rating is the most important stat in the game. Uh, once you reach above 6%, then you can start filling in, you can start dropping hit on other pieces of gear. Now, if I were to, so say like I never were, was able to get my hands on a Drake Fang Talisman, which could potentially be the case for a lot of warriors, it's because it's such a sought after item for all uh, physical damage dealers. 
Uh, so your Hand of Justice will be your best in slot for that. It would be, not best in slot, sorry. It, it would be your next best item. And then, um, so a as you can see here, you lose um, your hit rating goes to 6%. Now say that you never got Onslaught Girdle, and but you did get the belt from uh, Thunderon or whatever his name is. So it's basically an Onslaught Girdle apart from it doesn't have hit rating. So, so if you have that, you're at 5% now. Now, this changes what items you potentially would use in certain slots. So if you remember here, uh, when I simmed the the uh, neck piece, the Anixia's Tooth Pendant was actually a lot lower. It was like 20 DPS or 30 DPS below Eye of a Car, but watch this. So as you can see, the um, items that have hit rating on them are doing an immense amount more of DPS, 31 DPS more. Now the reason that is, is because it brings you to your hit cap with your yellow attacks. The reason why that's so important is because while heroic effect is queued, you're also guaranteed hits on your offhand, which makes your rate generation insane, which me immensely increases your, your overall DPS. So there, uh, I, I like to bring up that like a lot of items in uh, for warrior, they, they, some items enable other items to be better. So there are item combinations. It's mainly for uh, rings, your back, your neck, and your trinkets. Uh, they enable other items to be better. So if you put on Anixia here or your uh, Magmar's Horn, then you would uh, gain 31 DPS, even though you know that the Eye of a Car is best in slot, but you don't have the hit rating to support its actual damage increase because you never got your hands on Onslaught Girdle. So... Another thing too is that if you do have an onslaught, so so let's say you never got your hands on an onslaught girdle, you you uh, or sorry you did get your hands on an onslaught girdle, and uh, you never got a uh, Magmadar's horn, but you did get a Nixia's, and you also didn't have. So let's say um, you didn't get onslaught girdle. Sorry, let's just say you didn't get onslaught girdle. You have the uh, Belt of Wrath. You never got a Nixia's, but you're able to get your hands on an Eye of a Car. Where could I possibly get hit rating here? Now, hit rating on your off on your uh, throwing weapon is easy to obtain because there, there is a, a blue item. I'm just going to show you really quick here. I'm just going to prune some of the DPS items. So, um, as you can see here, oh, oops, I'm going to go back here in my bed. As you can see here, there's a lot of blue items that are uh, of pretty high value. So if I just select the Styrop's bow, which is a really, really terrible statted bow. It's only three agility with one hit. But because I need one hit, I'm going to show you something really cool here. So we all know that the Dragon Slayer's javelin is best in slot. All right, so we all know that the Dragon Slayer's Javelin is best in slot, but it's actually 30, 32 DPS below the Styrus Bow. And, then, uh, and again, the reason why that is is because hit rating is immensely more important than actual crit and damage stats. So let's say you have the Javelin and you have a Nixia's Tooth. Or sorry, you don't have the... Or dr the Javelin drops and you have Styrus Mark... Or sorry, Striker's Mark.
So now the Javelin is actually a lot better than Striker's Mark. And again, I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of like hammering this home. It's because of hit rating. So there are a lot of items in this game that enable other items to be better than other setups on your kit. And just being aware of that while you're gearing your warrior out in any phase is really, really, really important. So I'm just gonna quickly talk about rings. Uh, Master Dragon Slayer is amazing. It's a really strong ring. The next best thing would be Circle of Applied Force. And again, this is only if you can support the hit rating. So if you go Circle of Applied Force, I'm just gonna sim the rings for you really quick, just so you can see it in real time. So again, because if I get Circle of Applied Force, it's dropping my hit rating, which makes any item that has hit rating way more value. So Master Dragon Slayer's ring is really good, but if you're able to get your hands on a uh, Drake Fang Talisman and you're able to get hit 8% uh, hit chance, now let's resim this. So as you can see, Circle of Applied Force actually went up in DPS, but if we narrow it down, I'm just gonna go in here and just, uh, oh, I'm just gonna prune some of these uh, items. So as you can see, because I have um, Drake Ming Talisman, the Circle of Applied Force is actually really, really good. It's, uh, it's in the same DPS ballpark as Master Dragon Slayer. Now that's only because I'm able to support it with hit rating. So if you don't, if you don't have the hit rating to support certain items, then those items become uh, a DPS loss, even though they are best in slot. Just because of how your gear is uh, set up. So making sure that you have 6% hit enabling it uh, enables a lot of other items to be very very good so i think that's it that's all for this video um if you have any questions uh just leave them in the comments or if you see me online uh you can direct message me uh this video is kind of long it was uh 23 minutes normally i'd, I'd like to keep my videos a little short just because of attention span um if you stayed this long um leave some in the comments saying that or if this video like helped you in any way and you were here listening and uh, following along with everything, um, that's awesome. If you learned anything about the Warrior Sim or if you if this is your first time discovering it, that's great. This is an amazing tool. I suggest using it. Uh, hopefully I explained the uh, runes and talent systems uh, well without mumbling or um, going into or not explaining it in any way that made sense. I, hopefully I did a good job on that, I guess. And uh, if you are trying to enter Fury out, um, it's a really, really fun build. This is probably like the funnest uh, change to Fury, uh, to, to Fury Warrior in all of Sod. Uh, I love two-handers and I wish they were more viable in uh, raid, the raid environment and they finally are. I would uh, highly suggest using them this phase because I have a really funny feeling that they're not gonna be as good next phase for a, for AQ. So again, that's it, that's all. Uh, again, any questions, leave them in the comments. Messing me on, wow. Bye-bye.